It's beginning to look like a food forest everywhere we go. All right, y'all. It's harvest time. Don't ask me what variety because I have forgotten. But most, most definitely, it is definitely a good variety. If not, I wouldn't have kept it and planted it. <clears throat> so it's time to get a piece. I think I'll get that one right there. They always out there on the job. Should have cleaned this up. Boy, they came out real good. <clears throat> I mulched this pile up really good. I mean, I mulched it heavily. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. And this is not U10. It's not. I know that much. I forgot the name of it. I can eventually get the name of it, but it's not U10. So y'all don't think it's U10. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> eight, nine, ten harvestable stalks. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this one here. I do believe with the crack in it so when harvesting sugar cane on a personal note I like to get as close to the bottom as I can and because I'm working with two hands I'm gonna have to pause this video all right <clears throat> that is so take these pieces here I'm gonna pile them back up I'm gonna get all these <coughs> pieces these little leaves if you would and uh, put them right back around this uh, sugar cane bed but my next thing is to, I'm going to cut it here. Yeah, but that's what we'll eat at the house. So we're going to cut it here. <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to cut it up here. Okay, trying to do this with one hand, y'all, and film, so y'all can be a part of this lovely experience. I hope y'all are doing well. <clears throat> so what am I going to do with this part right here? I'm going to replant it. <clears throat> so I'm going to take it, stick it in the bucket of water right now, just for time being. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut it at an angle. Take this or either a machete, I'm going to cut it at an angle. And I'm going to put at least two. One, two. Yeah, at least two pieces. I'm just going to stuff them back down in the ground in that pile right there. I'm going to just drive it back in there. And <clears throat> that'll be it. But, <clears throat> and I'll take this piece here and cut it up. And pile it up around there. And we'll take this and we'll cut it up, put it in some Ziploc bags, get it nice and chilled. And uh, hopefully it'll uh, taste good for the kiddos. They'll like it just as much as me. Huh? Jabos. Jabos, y'all. Jabos everywhere. <clears throat> 
Maybe we want to look and see if we got another variety. Because when I do cane, I like to, when I eat cane, I like to eat a couple of different kinds. Kind of like chewing, eating mangoes. Can't eat from one of my favorites right here. I had to replant it because it's really not, it would really wasn't enough. But I can eat from this pile here. <clears throat> I could. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just hold off and just eat what I got over there. Chew, rather. This is really good. I replanted this whole bed. Now, and I'm glad that we've had rain to, to stir it up. I replanted all the beds, actually. And the cane, the best bed, the one that's doing the very best is this last one, which is Georgia Red. Georgia Red or Florida Red. I mean, it's really coming up. So I replanted the beds. <clears throat> I put new soil down, then I put wood chips on top of it. <clears throat> so it can kind of retain the moisture. Because this is the time of year you start harvesting after you've had a little bit of cold. And actually, you could wait a little bit longer, but so it can really get cold, but we're gonna try that piece out over here. Lando Gardner coming at you. Um, it looked kind of like U-10, but it's not. Anyway, y'all have a good one.